In this question number 84, we have to select incorrect statement. So, look at the first statement here. And isogametes differ in their structure, function or behavior, rightly. And isogametes, they are morphologically, structurally different types of the gametes. Now, coming to the second option here. In oomycetes, female gamete is smaller and motile. Now, if we talk about the oogamous reproduction, in the oogamous reproduction, female gamete is larger in size, it is non-motile and male gamete is smaller in size and it is motile. So, with respect to the oogamous reproduction in the oomycetes, this option is incorrect. Now, look at the third option. In the case of the chlamydomonas, previously also I have told you that there is presence of isogamous and isogamous as well as oogamous sexual reproduction. And if we talk about the fucus, it shows oogamy. Then the last one, isogametes. Isogametes are similar with respect to the structure, function and behavior, right? So, it means this option is correct, this one is correct. This one is also correct. So, with respect to the oogamous reproduction in the oomycety, this is incorrect option. So, it means for this question, answer is 2, right? So, it is very much clear in the oogamous reproduction, male gamete is motile, smaller in size and female gamete is larger in size and non-motile. So, now let us move on to the next question here. In the question number 85, now this cara is a green alga in which there is monoecious condition that is male and female sex organ, they are present over the same plant body, right? So, if this part represents the body of cara, then let us say this is node, over the node there is presence of female sex organ which is flash shape. Yes, this is flash shaped female sex organ. The flash shaped female sex organ, it is known as oogonium or it is also known as nicule. Then here, slightly lower side, there is presence of male sex organ. Male sex organ is known as anthridium or it is also known as globule. So, in the cara, male and female sex organ, they are present over the same body. So, now we have to look into the right option. First option is stamen and carpal. This is an angiosperm and cara is an green alka. So, this is not the right one. Second, upper is anthridium and lower is ugonium. No, upper is female sex organ. So, if we look at the third option, upper is ugonium, female sex organ and lower is anthridium, male sex organ on the same body. So, this is right one. Now, looking into the fourth option, anthridiophore and archegoniophore on the same plan. Anthridiophore and archegoniophore, they are present in Marcantia and they are present on the different plant body. It means here the right option is this one. So, for this answer is 3. So, now let us see next question here. Let us take up question number 86. The essential chemical components of many coenzymes are. Now, coenzymes act along with the enzymes and these are small, usually low weight organic molecules. And for example, if we see coenzymes like NAD, FAD, so, these are basically their constituents are the vitamins. So, out of these four options, nucleic acids, carbohydrates, vitamins, proteins, the correct answer is option 3 that is vitamins. Because all the vitamins of B group, B complex, they act as coenzymes. So, let us move on to the next question that is 87. In this question number 87, we have to see which is the incorrect statement when the two genes, they show 50% recombination frequency. 
Now, 50% recombination frequency can occur when the genes they are present on different chromosome. It means they are not linked, they show independent assortment. One can be this. The second one is that genes they are present on the same chromosome, but they are present distantly. So, they are present distantly due to which the recombination frequency is high due to the crossing over. But if the genes they are present on the same chromosome and they are present close enough so that the crossing over is absent in such type of the condition, the recombinant formation that is absent, right? It means the recombinations they are formed 50% recombinants when the genes they are present on different chromosome means they show independent assortment and secondly genes they are present on the same chromosome but they are present distantly. So now let's see which is the option not associated with it. So if you look at the last option genes may be on different chromosome. So this is correct. The third option genes are present on the same chromosome but they undergo more than one crossover then also the recombination can be high. Now second one, the genes show independent assortment when they are present on the different chromosomes in this condition recombinants they are 50 percent. Now this last option, the genes are tightly linked. So if the genes are tightly linked, crossing over is absent, recombinant formation that is absent. So, it means this is incorrect option with respect to this question. So, for this question number, right answer is 1, right? So, now let us proceed to the next question here. Now, in this question 88, we have to see how many of these statements they are correct. So, let us see option number A. In the liverwort, mosses and ferns, gametophytes are free living. So, liverworts and mosses, they are bryophytes, ferns represents pteridophytes. In the case of the bryophytes, gametophytes, they are free living and sporophyte is dependent, right? And for the terrestrial ferns, again the gametophytes, they are free living. It means this option is correct. Now, coming to the B option. All the gymnosperms, they are heterosporous and some pteridophytes, some ferns, they are also heterosporous producing two types of the spores. So, it means this one is also correct. Now, C option, sexual reproduction in fucus, wallworks and albugo is oogamous. Most advanced type of the reproduction is present in all these three. You know, fucus and volvox, they represent algae and albugo, this is an fungi. So, this is also correct. Now, coming to the D option, sporophyte in liverworts is more complex, elaborate than mosses. Now, this one is incorrect. In the case of the liverworts, sporophyte consists of foot, small ceta, and this one is capsule, right? In the case of the mosses, this condition is there. Foot, long ceta. This is foot, long ceta and this one is capsule. So, it means more elaborate sporophyte is present in the case of the mosses. This option is incorrect. Now, coming to the E option. Pinus is monoecious and marcaecia is dioecious. So, this one is also incorrect here. So, how many statements they are correct? Three. So, it means for this question, right answer is this one. That is option number two. So, now let us discuss next question here. Now, in this question number 89, we have to see incorrect statement with respect to the hemophilia. Now, hemophilia is X-linked recessive disorder. Now, in the hemophilia, blood clotting factor that is deficient. If we talk about the hemophilia A, in that the blood clotting factor which is deficient, that is factor number 8. And in the hemophilia B, which is also known as Christmas disease, the blood clotting factor which is deficient, that is 9. So, now with this much of the background, now we can solve this question. First option, it is a recessive disease. 
right it is a dominant no third one a single protein involved in the clotting of the blood is affected right in the hemophilia a it is the factor number 8 and in the hemophilia b it is factor number 9 this is also right fourth it is x linked disease sex linked disorder it means the incorrect option here is this one so for the question number 89 right answer is Now coming to the question number ninety, we have to see what is the advantage of cholestogamy. Now in the cholestogamy, there is formation of the cholestogamous flask, that is closed flask, the flask which never opens. If the flowers they never opens, it means in the closed state only the pollination will occur, self pollination will occur. So what is the advantage of this? Advantage is that that plant does not have to form the nectar. or the pollen edible pollen to attract the insect one is this second there is no requirement of the pollinator for the transfer of pollen grain from the anther to stigma it means cholestogamy is comparatively cheaper as compared to the cross pollination right the resources which are required they are comparatively lesser so now let's see these four option which is the correct one with respect to it now first option says more vigorous offsprings they are formed more vigorous offsprings are formed when there is variation but this involves self pollination so this condition will not be there now third option is viviparity viviparity is germination of seed when the seed is still attached to the plant here we are not talking about the germination of seed here we are talking about the pollination in closed flower so this is also not related then fourth option high genetic variability variation can occur due to the cross pollination which is not occurring here now the second option no dependence on pollinator without the help of the pollinator pollination will occur so it means the right answer for this question is answer number 2 so now let's discuss next question 